I originally made a video on Fiddlestick support when I first started making support guides again, and it was pretty well received, but at the time while I was still refining my voice, that video is literally painful for me to watch now, and Fiddle support was just an idea as opposed to a good idea. A patch or two ago, Fiddlestick's jungles complained enough to get their champion buffed in two areas that are arguably better for support than jungle, both lengthening the duration of his fear as well as the base damage on his ultimate. Thanks to these buffs, it's now a pick that should truly be feared by the enemy team with his unmatched vision potential, single target pick ability, and teamfight dominating ultimate that even the least skilled players should be able to find success on. At the moment, Fiddlestick support has a 52% win rate in Platinum Plus games, making him one of the most winning supports out there. The player we're analyzing who is a one-trick Fiddlestick support is Forget Me Not, according to Google Translate. There's not much you need to know about him aside from the fact that he has been playing Fiddlestick support since season 8, and has over 3,000 ranked games played on the champion over that time period, peaking in high grandmaster in two of those seasons and sustaining a 53% win rate over that long period of time. Currently this season, he's ranked master tier where he continues to climb higher and higher to this day. Even though your opponents are bound to run away screaming when they see Fiddle support, we have to talk about why we don't see the pick that often. For one, Fiddlesticks is squishy, and with his comparatively short range, he normally wants to be right in the center of a fight to get the most out of his kit. Also, Fiddlesticks traditionally does better with more income, something that in the support role he's going to be lacking. Fiddle doesn't really fit the mold of other mage support champions, having some lackluster basic poke and damage abilities throughout the early game. And finally, and most importantly, ADCs are already scared enough of Thresh Lanterns. Can they really handle a demon spirit laning alongside them? But even with all of these potential problems, Forget Me Not has found a way to make it work. Before minions spawn as fiddle support, our player looks to place down defensive effigies with his passive. Effigies are arguably OP as hell, especially on a support character, since at level 1 it means you have both a yellow and red trinket in one. Fiddlestick support becomes more effective the better vision control you have throughout the game, so using effigies on cooldown to clear enemy vision and set up hiding areas is a huge part of his gameplay. In lane at level 1, just like in our previous video, our player takes E or Reap. This early in the laning phase, Forget Me Not's only real objective is to chip the enemy's laner's health down with Reap and the Comet that he brings in his runes. At the same time, all these instances of damage are helping him quickly stack his Spell Thief's Edge that he purchases every game. While it isn't the heaviest damage poke ability, it's so low mana that he does not feel bad spamming it on cooldown, and enough of these in a row can whittle down the enemies enough to put them in a position at level 2 or 3 to be all in by him and his ADC. And that's not to say that with an aggressive enough laner that Fiddlesix can't grab a kill at level 1. It's just more rare than other supports. Reap also has one of the most rare statuses in the game if hit in the center in Silence. Using your silence to prevent counterattacks, stop channels, or prevent an enemy from flashing away throughout the game can help secure more kills. There are many a times when an enemy has flash up while about to be jumped on and Forget Me Not will stack his silence duration with his fear duration to make escape impossible for an enemy. And that's already available at level 2 as he takes Fiddle's Q or or Terrify. Terrify now at level 1 fears an enemy for 1.25 seconds and it's a point and click. That goes up to 2.25 seconds at level 5. We know how devastating point and click CC abilities can be after analyzing picks like Twisted Fate support, and Fiddlestick's Q is arguably even stronger than that since it can also push enemies into your team if you're positioned behind where you want the enemy to walk to. Notice how in this clip our player purposely positions himself behind the Galio so as to push him into his teammate as opposed to away. It's important to know that throughout the duration of the fear, the feared champion will react to where you are at that moment, not just at the beginning of the cast. This comes in handy when performing ganks or roams, which Forget Me Not does often, to where he always attempts to flank behind the enemy laner as to once again push him towards his side of the map and improve the gank success rate. It's because of this ability as well that diving fiddlestick support under turret is an absolute nightmare since it's almost instant unmissable CC, but it's so much more than that as well. It can also serve as an easy peel tool for you and your ADC in the early game. Let's say you're against an engaged support like Nautilus. All you have to do after your ADC gets hooked is walk up to the enemy ADC and fear them away from the fight to disengage. It also serves as a damage tool, doing a flat amount that doubles if an enemy is already feared. And as you could guess, it is such a long CC ability, it serves as a great setup tool for both your ADC and jungler. Forget Me Not does not hesitate to flash in on an 
an enemy who is low from his previous poke to set up easy kills that are literally foolproof. Since our player is maxing this first, the fear is much longer than the typical Fiddlesticks jungle would have as the game goes on, and using this ability's passive that makes Fiddlesticks next damaging ability fear if he's out of sight, he can fear multiple enemies if he's positioned properly, or AoE fear the whole enemy team with his ultimate a bit later into the game. Back to lane at level 3 and 4, he will most commonly take 2 points into Fiddle's W or Bountiful Harvest next. Getting 2 points into W means better sustain, better lane pushing, and better kill potential for Forget Me Not. If he smells blood after getting a fear that the enemy walked into, just like before, he's not afraid to flash in the middle of the enemy laners to drain as many enemies as possible to sustain and do more damage. As long as you full channel on at least one enemy, whether that be a champion or a minion, this ability will also refund 60% of the remaining cooldown, making him a bigger damage threat in early fights that last longer. Other quirks of this ability to know as support is that you don't have to have sight of someone to activate it, and since the ability can only be used if someone is in range, you can use the indicator at the bottom of your screen to tell if an enemy is in a nearby brush as displayed in this example here. Also, W will reveal any champion currently being drained, which means that Fiddlesticks has some interesting counterplay to champs such as Pike, Twitch, or other enemies that can go invisible. While Bountiful Harvest doesn't do an immense amount of healing, I saw many a play in where the enemy team thought they could burst down or kill Forget Me Not, but W was able to sustain him enough to bait them into overstaying in their attempted kill. Now that he has all of his basic abilities, he regularly looks for roams against other laners. Again, Fiddle's range is pretty short, so trying to force a pick in lane can put you into unnecessary danger or force you to overextend. That's why roaming can be so effective as Fiddle, because it mitigates the weakness with good pathing and surprising enemies with your point and click CC once you leave Fog of War. These roams and Fiddle in general gets much more powerful, however, when he hits level 6 and he unlocks his ultimate, Crowstorm. Crowstorm is a huge threat that allows our player to 100-0 unaware squishy champions if he finds them all alone. But more importantly, with the blink that's built into it, it allows Forget Me Not to get a jump on enemies across walls, from bushes, or just outside of their line of sight. It's all about the element of surprise, and that's why, like we mentioned earlier, vision control is so important. Ways he easily gets kills with Crowstorm include camping in a lane brush that's unwarded to surprise the enemy bot laners, continue your roaming from new angles to push mid or top further ahead, or simply use it in combination with flash to catch opponents out from a screen away. What's almost necessary though with Fiddlesticks Ultimate is to use it out of sight to enable your fear passive to proc on multiple opponents. In the mid game with your ultimate unlocked, you're trying to achieve two things. Either one, picking out multiple enemies or singular enemies before objectives spawn so the rest of your team doesn't even have an attempt to go for set objective, or two, forcing team fights around these objectives to set yourself up for huge AoE damage. Roaming and movement around the map is so important to our player that he regularly will skip the typical boot choices you see supports make in favor of either Moby boots or Swifties just to get around the map faster. Forget Me Not also likes to stick with his jungler to help tank objective damage like Dragon with his drain sustain while offering that scary AoE ultimate, even roaming all the way to top lane to take Rift Herald if need be. More disgusting than those objective objective secures though are his surprise turret dives with his jungler in the bot lane. After killing an opponent without using his ultimate, he likes to go wait behind their turret to catch them again on their way back to lane. It's both demoralizing and nasty. And after landing a successful gank or winning a team fight or scrap, he likes to then go into the enemy jungle and take an easy camp with his drain. Again, Fiddlesticks is originally a jungler, so even with drain just at level 2, he can take camps pretty easily. Since much of Fiddle's kit is revolved around him getting in the center of a team fight, when he has his ultimate available, Forget Me Not will always skip a mythic item and instead grab an early Zonia's Hourglass first for both playmaking and survivability. This item is so important, and it becomes even more vital in team fights, where hopefully he has his ultimate, but sometimes he'll find himself without it. If that's the case, simply sitting back and peeling for his carries can work well, but more actively, he tries to stack his fear CC with other teammates' CC. If someone gets caught, then adding a fear on top of it normally will lock them up for so long Long, they'll die with no issues. When his ultimate is available, it's similar to mid game where he's looking for that perfect angle out of vision to start channeling. A fiddle ultimate with that huge AoE fear simply makes him a more damaging Amumu. So being patient and staying safe when team fights are happening and able to find that perfect moment is imperative and how he manages to win so many games as fiddle support.
For his build, he starts every game with a Spell Thief's Edge. From there, he looks to rush his level 2 boots, most typically going with Swifties in the majority of matchups or Boots of Mobility against Roam Heavy supports. He'll then always go for Azonia's Hourglass, using the stopwatch from his runes to get it faster. He can flex in his 4th and 5th item slots depending on the enemy team. If he's far ahead, he'll purchase his Mythic item, most commonly getting Imperial Mandate since it's so cheap, or a Night Harvester if he's very far ahead. If he's against healing heavy teams, he'll purchase a Morella Namicon, or if he's against magic heavy teams, he'll instead purchase a Banshee's Veil. If the game goes long, or he needs some more oomph in his build, he'll purchase an Elixir of Sorcery. And throughout the whole game, like a good support does, he's buying Control Wards, and maybe a Ward Stone if the game goes very late. For his runes, he takes Comet for more poke, Nimbus Cloak for better ultimates, Transcendence for ability haste, and Scorch for even more poke. He takes an Inspiration Secondary Page with Cosmic Insight for lower summoner spell cooldowns, and Stopwatch to accelerate his Zonia's purchase. He also takes two Adaptive Force and either Armor or Magic Resist depending on his lane opponents. Other Fiddlestick support players have been experimenting with this Glacial Augment page instead since it functions well with Fiddle's Fear, but I'll leave that choice up to you on which you like better. Fiddlestick support works well with aggressive ADCs like Draven or Callista, or ADCs with CC like Ash or Aphelios. Fiddlestick support struggles against hard engage supports like Blitz or Leona, or ADCs with movement abilities like Lucian or Caitlyn. If you guys like this pick, then you'll definitely like our last video, which was on Ivern support. See you guys next time. Peace.